One prime example is the case of Dale Graham. Location, the remote mountains south of Burley, Idaho. On this excursion, Dale brings along his son, Josh, and our crew as he recounts the details of what he saw. Dale regularly ventures into the backcountry for firewood, but he has avoided this spot for nearly four years. The reason? Fear. Today, for the first time, he returns to the exact location of an experience he'll never forget. Coming over the top there, I had goosebumps on my arm and up my neck and everything else from where I've seen him. I mean, it's, uh, I haven't been back to the spot since I've seen him. And uh, I went other places, not as far up, in different directions. But the direction he went and the direction he came from, I haven't been either way that way. Well, I was, I came up to get a load of firewood and right over here I fell some trees and I blocked them all up and put the chainsaw down and started loading the truck. Uh, just about the time I was done with the truck getting loaded, uh, I smelled something. And I was thinking maybe it's a dead animal, dead cow, something up in here, because you always find them up in here. And then it dawned on me that, why didn't I smell it earlier? So then I started looking around, and there he starts up the hill over there. And like I say, he walked like an old man, a tired old man. He took his right hand, reached out, put it on the tree, and uh, all I could think of, well, uh, I need to go. I mean, I just, he kind of scared me, but he didn't make nothing threatening. He just uh, mind his own business, and just going on with what he wanted to do. I left my grease gun, and uh, when I seen him, I uh, decided the grease gun wasn't that important. I thought I was gonna leave it, and we walked up today, and it's laying on the mountainside, covered with grass and debris. In my mind, I can picture what an old man like is walking up a hill, and that's what he did. It's the same way. He just like he was tired. And he was in no big hurry. He didn't seem like he was spooked by me. And I'm, I know he knew I was there, but he didn't pay me no attention. Graham's experience closely aligns with many others. Bigfoot seems curious, attracted to things like wood cutting or children playing. And then there is the telltale smell that Graham noticed, also typical of Bigfoot sightings. In fact, researchers have built a full profile of Bigfoot behavior 